Hey, welcome back to Bowser's Kaiser Conspiracy. Uh, let's continue on World 5 of the Jungle World. We're gonna go ahead and do the secret exit path. Don't be bugging with this transformer symbol. Looking for a transformer in the bug world. Uh, or a small Mario, which is fine. Oh no, bugs! Why she? Okay, I'm just about to walk. <laughs> Run right into one of those spears without, without a care! <sighs> this is a great start. I'm just gonna play real bad to start the video. Just gonna jump right in. Because I just got finished playing uh, Paper Mario, so I'm like, ooh, a game that I can jump around now. I can jump around all free and destroy my enemies. Okay, I don't like you guys. You guys are scary. Um, yeah, you guys are scary. I don't like you guys. Uh, hey, Piranha Plant, you're not a, you're not a plant. What are you, are you, well, you are a plant. Um, you're not a bug. What are you doing in this world? Um... Well, that's a very pretty background. Can I just say, this game has some very, very nice backgrounds. This one, this one in particular is really, uh, is really appealing to me. Must, might, uh, can I, uh, say with words of the English language? Because it's the only language that I know how to speak. Even though I would like to learn Finnish and German at some point. If I ever get off my lazy ass and try to learn it. Hello there, coin. I'm t I'm checking I am checking all these pipes because there is a transformer in one of them probably. You jerk! I want to check your pipe. Dang it! Of course, we have learned we have learned from the past that they're not always going to be in pipes. So there you go, right there. Um. Wah! Jump! Jump on him! Ha ha ha! We had a tank a hit for it, but that's okay. We had a mushroom in the box. I want to get that uh, that coin. Come over here, little bee, uh, little bee man. Getting a little bit of slowdown. Just gonna screw up that jump because I'm good at video games. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Bee Man, for your cooperation. I really appreciate it. It's unfortunate you don't get a life for jumping at the top of the pole. I guess it's just too easy to do in this game, so they're like, eh, we'll just give you 8,000 points, even though we don't count points in this game. <laughs> Where does this pipe go? Ooh, this is World 6, huh? Switch off Steel Stronghold. Ooh. What does this mean? Elec electric barriers? And con electric barriers and conveyor belt- ooh. And conveyor belts. Whoa. And earthquake barrels. <laughs> Not particularly good at dealing with any of these things. Oh, jeez. This may turn out to be a somewhat difficult level, actually. Because I'm pretty bad at dealing with, uh, conveyor belts. Ah! Oh, those are thwomps! They're not barrels, they're thwomps. I mean, they are, they are barrels, but they're thwomps. So what's your sig huh. what's your significance, Mr. Uh, Mr. Red Guy? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna just gonna because this game is starting to get difficult. So lives are uh, a valuable commodity. Got some Mavericks here. Man, he goes really fast. That's pro but, but like I said, I'm just not particularly good at dealing with conveyor belts. But these are some pretty scary thwomps. I'm just not... Not prepared for them. Okay. Oh, look at that. Dying just before the midpoint. That's... Typical of me. 
At least there- uh, At least there is a midpoint. Since when can... Wompy Guy... Manipulate switches? That's kind of... Absurd. Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of a difficult level, man. Can I stand on that? No, I cannot stand on that. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't even touch it. Oh. I'm more used to dealing with, like, disco shells that do this, but this is, like, a lot more effective. It's a, lot, uh, it's a lot more effective and a lot scarier to do it this way. Right, there's a second midpoint. Hmm, I get the funny feeling that there's more to the blue switch than meets the eye, if you know what I mean. This has been a scary level, man. Is there something in here? Yeah, what the hell? What the- why- What are you doing here, man? This is- whoa! Nuts to you, Mr. Laser Blasting Guy! I have the power of a cape! So I can fly right over your nonsense. Hooray! Very well, I admit defeat. Do not think that the blue blocks will save you, though. The Kaizokans shall rise again. Oh, that's why his level was difficult, because he's evil. Ah. Yeah, he's evil. That makes a lot of sense, huh? Alright, we'll go ahead and do one more level, just to... ...around this. Well, I don't know if I want to. This is a castle level. Um... Sure, let's go for it. Resner's Fortress. A lot, Eddie, uh... <laughs> my... So far, my strategy, just throwing myself headlong at enemies, does not seem to be an effective thing to do. But... Still, I find myself doing it. And I like these Resner's that shoot fire. I think it's kind of cool. Resner's Fortress. The Resner shooting fire makes a lot of sense. I understand. And it feels like a castle, what with all of the fire bars. Whoa! You startled me. Coming out, coming out of this, coming out of the screen like that. Ooh, what's down here? What does sw switch offs blocks allow me to do? It allows me to obtain. Oh, whoa, that's a big fire bar. Big fire bars are scary because they're hard to avoid, obviously. Hello, oh, Resner. Gonna go ahead and get that coin. Get some get a life back. Res whoa. Okay, this is kind of a Ow. <laughs> kind of a scary, uh a briefly scary Resner fight. <laughs> Good thing I had a couple hits to tank. All right, guys. I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in the next one.